Hi, KC here. And uh, I did something I hadn't done before. I ordered from the local Whole Foods via Amazon. You know, they tell us we're not supposed to go to the stores and Connecticut has just said, listen, you know, they're really limiting the number of people who are allowed to go into supermarkets. So I figured, you know something, let me see how this works. For some reason, I'd never done it. So they just delivered it. It was just a test. And here's the bag. Ordered from Whole Foods Market, Amazon Prime. All right, so here's the bag. Let's see how they did it. See if they gave me the right stuff. I've been getting emails from people who have been complaining about orders they've been placing. Okay, some uh, cherry tomatoes. Actually, it was interesting. When I ordered it, I ordered this at about, I don't know, 11.30, something like that. By 11.45, I had an email uh, or a text message saying, we don't have the cherry tomatoes you want. Would you like to replace it with these? I said, yes. And by the way, I placed the order at 11.45. It is now 12.30 as I record this. So they got here very quickly. In all honesty, there's a Whole Foods less than a mile from here. So that's the one I go to. So let's see, I was gonna make hamburgers tonight. So let's see what we've got in here. Okay, well, these are meatballs for later in the week. Parmesan meatballs. Wanted to try those out. More Parmesan meatballs, how great is that? Oh, these, love these. These are um, uh, lobster and scallop cakes. I'm sorry, shrimp and scallop cakes. This is content and I got a guy and I love those. So that's another dinner right there. And I got two pounds of ground beef beef because I'm going to make hamburgers. I've already got rolls. They got it exactly the way I wanted it. It came really, really quickly. Hey, listen, this is the kind of thing that I think we're, a lot of us are going to be doing a lot more of. And stores are going to have to figure out how to deliver this quickly. Again, extraordinary. They got it here in well under two hours, which is, you know, a lot more than I would have expected. So anyway, I think these guys are going to set the bar high. There obviously is going to be a cost because we're going to have to worry about, you know, we're going to have to make sure the people who are there are not infected. We can't be infected. I'm going to be really careful to wipe this stuff all down before I put it away. But again, these guys are setting the bar. So it occurred to me after I put the food away, that when it was delivered in the bag, there was nothing in the bag to keep it cold. This could be a problem. Now, it so happens that today it's kind of cold out and we're living under coronavirus rules, right? Everybody's home. But another time, if it were warm out, the sun were out, maybe we weren't home, maybe I was going for a jog, a bike ride, whatever it happens to be, that could be a problem. So that could be a little bit of a flaw in the system. I don't know if the, they're doing it this way specifically because we're living under a different set of rules right now or not but I do think it's a, it could be a problem for them long-term. But that said, these guys tend to figure this stuff out pretty easily. And I still think that they're largely gonna set the bar pretty high for most other retailers. Anyway, we'll see how things develop. That's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I wanna hear what's on your mind.